Welcome to this tutorial, learn to use INXL library step by step. I've created a console application in Visual Studio 2022. You'll need to install INXL in your project. You can install it using the NuGet package manager or the NuGet console. You can also download it through the NuGet website. Just make sure that you're using the latest version of INXL. So let's move to the program CS file. I import INXL into the program file, and this is a major step in order to use INXL. After that, I load the Excel file using the load function. You can load any spreadsheet format files in your program. So let's see the Excel file. Now I will modify this Excel file. I'll get the sum of the unit price column and print it in the new cell with a black background and white font color. And we can apply formulas on specific cells using INXL. In line eight, I set the value of cell C24 to then apply the sum formula from the range C2 to C23. And you can apply any formula to cells. I also set the background color to black. And you can assign any color code to apply this effect. Additionally, I set the font color to white. After that, I saved the file with the name modified XLSX and printed modified file saved to the console. Next, I create an Excel file using INXL function workbook create. And for the argument, I passed in the Excel file format. After that, I set the metadata of the file. You can set many things like the author name, etc. I create a worksheet inside the workbook and assign the value hello world to the A1 cell. I apply formatting on the A2 cell, like border color and border type. And you can apply formatting on any cell or cell range. There are a lot of customizations offered by INXL. And you can export files to any format like JSON, CSV, XML, XLS, and XLSX. So let's run the project and see the output. Now I click on the build project button to start building. The process is completed. So let's see the output files in the desired path. Let's open the modified file to see the output. So this is the file which I modified using INXL. And if you look at cell C24, you'll see the customization which we did using INXL. It has a black background and a white font color with a sum formula applied in it, the same as when we wrote the code. So let's see the exported files which we created in our program. So these are the exported files generated by INXL. And these files are CSV, XML, XLSX and JSON. So let's open the Excel file and see the actual result of formatting. This is the file created by INXL with formatting and you can see that formatting and values applied successfully without any error. It's a great output. INXL is a great tool. You can do a lot of customizations and formattings using it. You don't need to install Office on your machine and you can see the power of INXL library in this image page. I hope you found this video useful and if you need any further help, as always, our support team is standing by ready to help.